Assalamualaikum and hello awesome student. How are you? In this video, we'll show you how to make a flowchart and do a swap between two variables. This is symbol you need to keep in mind. This is how you want to draw a flowchart. You use this symbol. symbol. Number one, terminal symbol. It indicates the beginning and end points of an algorithm. That means it's to show the start and the stop of an algorithm. Second, process symbol. Process symbol used to show a process such as arithmetic operation other than input, output or selection. Third is an input output symbol show an input and output operation fourth this storage input output symbol indicates input from or output to this storage fifth printer output symbol show hard copy printer output sixth Decision symbol show a selection process. Next, this is flow lines arrow to show logical sequence of execution steps in the algorithm. Then this one is a off page connector. It used when you want to provide continuation of a logical path of another page different page last one is on page connected to show continuation of a logical path of at another point in the same page let's learn how to create a flowchart while learn how to do a swap you must listen to this video thoroughly so that it will avoid you to do misconception on how computer actually process the instruction. Okay. Let's see question 1. Write a program that swap the value in memory 1 into memory 2. Display the memory 1 and memory 2. Wrong answer made by the student because don't understand the question. You can see here, start... Then the student do read memory 1 and memory 2. Then they process memory 1 into memory 2. Then store memory 2 into memory 1. Directly like this. And then display back variable memory 1 and memory 2. Other answer that student make mistakes like this. Start, read memory 1, memory 2, display memory 2 has memory 1, and then display memory 1 that has memory 2, and then stop. This also actually a wrong answer. Actually, all the, both of is this instruction wrong because they are not doing a swap between two variables. You can see for the first, first, Instruction here, you can see first instruction here. Read memory 1. Memory 1, read. And then that means enter Apple into memory 1. Then memory 2, read memory 2, put durian. Then memory 1, you store into memory 2. So that means it's changed into Apple. Then memory 2. You store in memory 1. Then, you, what happened? You can see here. Uh, when you want to display memory 1, it's contain Apple. Then when you want to display memory 2, also show an Apple. This is wrong. I mean, you are not doing a swap. Okay, how is the correct answer start read memory 1 memory 2 okay. what happened here you put 
memory 1 into assign into temporary variable you assign you store it and then memory 2 you assign back into memory 1 and then temporary you store contain in temporary into memory 2 then you display memory 1 and memory 2 okay, let's see what happened to understand this instruction okay, first you read memory 1 so you read apple you put apple into memory 1 and then you read memory 2 then user enter cherry into memory 2 second step second instruction you can see here memory 1 store in the temporary that mean you put memory 1 into temporary first step okay then you can see here memory 2 store into memory 1 memory 2 store in memory 1 so memory 2 contain cherry then memory 1 change into cherry okay then this is second this one second and then third one you can see here temporary variable store into memory 2 that mean in the temporary you store into the memory 2 what happened memory 2 will change the uh, store um, the contain apple in that memory 2 then when you display what happened in memory 1 contain of cherry memory 2 contain of apple okay. I repeat again you start and then you read memory 1 and memory 2 then you draw a symbol input output symbol like this because uh, this is a input input something into memory 1 and into memory 2 remember flowchart input output process but remember you must you must this one you must don't forget to write something inside yet to uh, get or read you can also write input memory one memory two because input and output have the same symbol so you must put a uh, name what happened in this symbol get or print okay then second you can see memory one is stored into temporary you use process symbol is uh, show you arithmetic process right memory one store into temporary and then show memory two you also use process symbol because memory two it store into memory one this is uh, a sign symbol actually this mean a sign a sign a sign to also known as uh, store into uh, memory 2 is assigned into memory 1 you must read it correctly correctly memory 2 is assigned into memory 1 okay so next temporary is assigned into memory 2 that mean uh, things that inside the temp will store into memory 2 then print see you must write down print in input output process symbol because they have the same symbol so you must write down read or get or you print or display what happened here okay don't forget to write down stop terminal, terminal, terminal symbol start and stop 
have the same symbol but you must write down start and stop inside that terminal symbol I repeat another example of swap value you can see in A there are variable A, variable B and variable temp okay for the first step okay first step what you did you read first you enter value a of a 30 so you can see the ball contain value 30 in variable a value 50 in variable b enter value of b 50 okay then what you did okay first after you read first step you see read a and b 30 and 50 okay second step what you did you can see here a rubber a rubber a you put into temp the ball okay so inside the temp cup you can see have 30 because rubber a is assigned into temp third step you can see here the step variable B is assigned into A. Variable B is stored into A. Inside variable B before this contain 50. You put into A. The step. Okay. Fourth step. You can see. In variable tem, the cup of tem, you store into B. So you can see here, swap happen here. Let's repeat how to read the instruction correctly using swap process. Pseudo code start. Read memory 1, memory 2. How you read that? Computer enter value from user into variable memory 1 and memory 2. Next instruction. How you read that? Value in memory 1 is assigned into temporary. Value in memory 1 is assigned into temporary. Value in memory 1 is stored in temp next instruction value in memory 2 is assigned into memory 1 value in memory 2 is assigned into memory 1 value in memory 2 is stored into memory 1 next instruction Value in temporary is assigned into memory 2. Value in temporary is assigned into memory 2. Computer display value in the variable memory 1 and memory 2. Computer display value in the variable memory 1 and memory 2. Stop. Okay, how you write the flowchart? Use terminal symbol of start and then arrow flow. Read memory 1 and memory 2. Use input output symbol and then memory 1 is assigned into temp. Arrow symbol. Memory 2 is assigned into memory 1 and then arrow symbol. Temporary is store into memory 2 then print memory 1 memory 2 arrow symbol then stop okay, this is evaluation swap value in num1 and num2 start given here number 5 is assigned into num1 
10 is assigned to num2 and then what is the process so that you can swap the value in num1 and num2 and then don't forget to display back, back num1 and num2 then try to draw a flowchart for this pseudocode what data in shape here and then what variable is there Okay, then stop. Thank you.